So Twitter is now allowing um, all their employees to work from home indefinitely, which I think is a great thing and probably something I'm assuming their workforce has probably thought has been long overdue. Um, but also I think it marks a change in work culture um, in general worldwide. Um, I've never really been the biggest fan of working in offices anyway, especially conventional open plan uh, workspaces. Because for the most part, if you've worked in any, even in corporate companies, startups, the idea that you get any work done working in an open plan work, 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 work workforce or workflow or whatever it's called is preposterous. It's not going to get no work done, especially deep work. You need time to um, concentrate and lock in. And that doesn't necessarily, you know, work well with people being able to shout across a room at you and get your attention. I think the back in the day offices where you had rooms and doors and people were sectioned off worked really well. But this convoluted idea that happened, you know, during the startup era where there was this idea that you were all going to collaborate because you sat next to finance and you could look over their table or look over his monitor and say something was preposterous. It never really worked out. If anything, it probably increased um, isolation. People just, you know, bring big noise cancelling headphones in or put in their earbuds and not talk to anyone unless it was their friend wanting to get attention for lunch um and again productivity is the name of the game it doesn't make no sense we're all connected we're all got laptops we'll have internet you can do the same work you're doing um at home at work so at work at home but then i guess one of the things that helps with the workspace is that you have like a dedicated place where you can go meet your colleagues and you know brainstorm ideas do uh what they're called sprints or whatever they may be called yes something along those kind of lines you can do that as a little group and i think those will probably work better but of course most companies are resistant i guess to that kind of thing they probably think that they need to keep an eye on their workforce and not very um open to the idea of allowing people to do that so i get it that it's a big step for people to make but i think when twitter does something I think a lot of companies will notice and take heed and I think this story will reverberate around the world and we'll definitely see a lot of changes. Again, like I said, I think I said previously in a couple of podcasts, I think just in terms of just cost alone, I'm assuming a lot of companies are probably revised how much are going to revise how much they spend in rent. Most companies don't think there's any company actually, maybe there's a handful that actually own the building that they uh, have their workforce in. Mostly people are renting places, especially if you're somebody that works in WeWorks, you know that, right? Renting of something is renting, 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 renting. So um, you've saved a lot of money with the workspaces that usually have people working in week in, week out. Your um, productivity is still where it needs to be because I think contrary to popular belief, people that have the ability to work from home usually take their job a little bit more seriously because they feel as if they have to give a bit more because they don't want to feel it seem like they're taking a the piss. So it works all the way around, really. You give people a bit of leeway, give them the ability to work from home, um, uh, be a little more flexible with their time schedule. They're able then to give you full, un undivided attention in their work when they're doing their work right in big sort of chunks i've realized myself i could work between you know two to three hours uninterrupted at home and there's no way i can get that kind of work done working in a workspace anyway it's not going to happen so this is this is an article i think from business from buzzfeed news actually let's get it up here on the screen that was shared on twitter um it says twitter will now allow employees to work from home forever uh, this is the following. This article says, uh, duh, duh. Um, Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey emailed employees on Tuesday telling them that they would be allowed to work from home permanently, even after the coronavirus pandemic lockdown passes. Some jobs that require physical presence, such as maintaining servers, will still require employees to come in, which is, I think, perfect, isn't it? Right? Um, it says here, um, we've always been thoughtful in how we've approached this from the time we were the first companies to move from a work from home model. A Twitter spokesman told BuzzFeed News, we'll continue to be and we'll continue to put the safety of our people and the communities first. Twitter encourages employees to work from home early in March as the coronavirus began to spread across the US. Several tech companies did the same, including Microsoft, Google and Amazon. That month, Twitter human resources head Jennifer Christie told BuzzFeed News, um, company that never probably be the same in the structure of his work would definitely true and i think that's definitely for the better i think if you're able to get your most of your workforce to work from home and then get the upper management to be in your office maybe a little bit more or maybe you know a couple more a couple more days than everyone else i think that builds a different kind of work structure too a different kind of culture and then i also think it allows the company more flexibility and more opportunity to do more interesting things when it comes to like the you know the some summer retreats 
or like the winter holidays christmas parties you can do more interesting things when you're not necessarily in each other's face all the time and it makes those events a bit more interesting too for people that attend them no i think well, the one that would be more fun especially if you're not seeing each other every thursday every friday um you get to meet up during the summer holidays or quarterly parties and stuff i think that works out pretty well so it really could change the way human resources is kind of handled as well in companies so money saved uh people are more fulfilled they feel more happy too i would imagine because you don't feel as if like because i think that's part of the reason a lot of people have a lot of you know have a lot of negative things to say about the place that they work because it feels like you're never you're never not there you wake up early you leave late you get there early again so it just feels like you know you're there all the time nothing ever changes but if you've got the ability to work from home a bit it kind of gives you this false impression that you aren't at work all the time right you can maybe nip off to the gym a little bit later in the morning you could probably meet your friends after work and go out for drinks and come back a little bit earlier it kind of makes life a little bit more manageable i'd say it continues here it says people who were reticent reticent sorry to work remotely will find that they will really thrive that way chris has said managers who didn't think they could manage teams that were remote will have a different perspective i don't i do think we won't go back which is definitely true i think again it depends on the teams depends on the structure but i definitely think being able having the ability to maybe coming in once a week or once every two weeks for team meetings and stuff is probably crucial or maybe do monday meetings all the time and then you just work from home tuesday uh to friday that would be fucking sick but there's a real good way to do it and again i just think in terms of actually doing w good work if that's what you want to do and actually making an impact and moving the needle this is probably the best way to go about things as opposed to having people just sit indoors sit in office and pretend that like they're working and being on ebay all day it says in this, uh, the jack the jack uh, dorsey announced that the company intends to work in a disturbed distributed way before the virus but the pandemic forced the company to move the timeline up He's, this email Dorsey said it's unlikely Twitter would open its offices before September while wow. that business travel will be cancelled until then as well with very few exceptions the company will also cancel all in-person events for the rest of the year and reassess its plan for 2021 later this year finally Twitter upped its allowance for work from home supplies to 1,000 to all employees again absolutely incredible news I think it's great to see hopefully we see a lot more companies doing it probably it's probably uh, more encouragement to the more corporate uh fuddy daddy companies so a little bit you know stuck in their ways i think they will probably need more encouraging because i think most startups will do it because they want to seem cool and they want to have the ability to attract new employees once everything's settled as well you know hey we're off, we're off from home that will go a long way you know it'll probably go more of a that might be the new carrot you know people usually do oh we do friday drinks is the thing in it to kind of get you to sign on the dotted line maybe the new way to get more in, to get new hires might be to be like hey guys we offer unlimited work from home unlimited holidays and what sort of shit um big gay but you know it might work for some people 